Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Zoe, and if you haven't already, make sure you go and check out my channel. I post about upcoming Sims releases, and I do some Let's Plays here. And if you'd like more content from me, I also stream on Twitch on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. I don't know about you guys, but I am over the moon excited for the new Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack. It's beautiful scenery, new interactable features, and obviously, the horses. What more could you ask for? Well, <laughs> unfortunately a lot more. As someone who makes Sims 4 content specifically, I'm pretty immersed in the community of players and creators alike. When the Horse Ranch pack was announced, or leaked, more like, people in the community were skeptical as to what the Sim Gurus could do to make enough content for an entire expansion pack versus a game pack. The live stream The Sims 4 hosted today showed off some of the new features of the pack, touching on cast, build and buy, gameplay, and the world. Is it all worthy of calling itself an expansion pack? I guess we'll find out. Like every live stream, we started off in Cass. Sim gurus Joanna and George showed the customizations and selection of breeds of horses that you as a player can pick from. Like cats and dogs, we are given the same color wheel, stencils, and brushes to decorate your horse's appearance. The live stream showed that horses are in fact part of the family, meaning they will take up a spot in your household just as cats and dogs do. There are 11 traits for horses, three of which an adult horse can have to round out their personalities. They have three life stages, full, adult, and elder, and have a genetic system to solidify the family feel. Now, unlike cats and dogs, horses are given two outfit categories, everyday and riding. With this, you can dress your horse up or dress them down for everyday living or a night of competition. The tack is said to be mainly western inspired, but it was mentioned to have some English style accessories too. As for our sims, we have a new array of western wear for both feminine and masculine sims. Chaps, hats, wild rags, and boots galore. But let me stop right there. I have something to say about the boots. They did us so dirty with the feminine style boots. Like, what did we do to y'all? Oh, you don't- oh, you don't believe me? Okay, look at these masculine boots easily one of the best pieces of DLC I've ever seen in the game, and then this. Okay, I, I rest my case. The clothing can have your sim gussied up or grunged down, including options for all ages, and the cutest little horsey onesie for infants. To further complement your sim's western look, there are a handful of new, less formal facial hair options, as well as some new hairstyles, three of which are inspired by Native American culture that will come with the base game update. Shocking, I know! Two new traits are available for your sim's dynamic personality, rancher and horse lover. Along with the traits come two new aspirations, championship rider and expert nectar maker. However, I couldn't help but notice there was not a new career mentioned for this pack. Hmm. Welcome to Chestnut Ridge. The cutest name on the face of the planet, might I add, by the way, well done. A world inspired by the scenery and big sky of Montana, the ranches and farmhouses of Colorado, the hub of wine and vineyards in Napa, California, and the canyons and dusty trails of western movies from John Wayne to... I don't, I don't know, Seth MacFarlane, I guess? You kill me, just grant me a few last words. There are three neighbors... <laughs> thank you, thank you... that make up Chestnut Ridge. Galloping Gulch, New Appaloosa, and Riders Glen. Much like real life, everything that you want to accomplish with your horse starts with a good relationship. Becoming friends with your horse can ensure faster and easier skill gain with the horse riding skill and the endurance skill. And let me tell you, you can definitely see a difference between a newbie and a seasoned cowboy. Similar to the community board and eco lifestyle, the Chestnut Ridge community board gives you options to buy or rescue horses, teaches you how to care for them, when to sign up for the next competition, hire a ranch hand, and much more. There are two new events that your sims can host, one of them being a ranch gathering where your sims can grill, sip some homemade nectar, and cowpoke dance late into the night. And the other is um, Ranch Animal Day, which I, I don't know, I have no idea what that is because they really didn't explain it in the live stream. So I guess we'll just have to find out for ourselves. Speaking of homemade nectar, we are all pumped about this new skilled activity. It's not just grapes that you can use to create your own bottle of juice, but anything you can grow in your garden can be fermented as well. To be honest, I'm more excited about the fact that I can recreate the house from the parent trap with the wine cellar. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, back to the world. I can say with full confidence that so far this pack has my favorite scenery by far. 
but I could be partial because I did live in Montana for four years, but that's besides the point. The rivers, the canyons, the big open sky, the trails, the waterfall? Absolutely breathtaking. Following those trails, you'll find yourself downtown where the competition hall hosts barrel racing, jumping, endurance riding, and western pleasure riding for a prize. Now, if you know me, I pride myself on being a builder through and through, so you know I'm having a strong opinion on this. SimGurus Joanna and George showed us some of the items from the pack, including two new rocking chairs, a guitar banjo thing, I, I, I don't know, and a new grill. This grill gives me the best barbecue in the tri-state area and the most down-home way. With it also comes a few new recipes like bison stew, wild nut soup, and Three Sisters Chili that was created by the Native Americans' idea to grow corn, beans, and squash on the same plot. There's also a new dish called Fan de Campo, a classic Texan cowboy dish which, if your sim moves to Chestnut Ridge, they'll be greeted by an eager welcome wagon bearing not fruitcake, but Pan de Campo. And I think that is very cute. I think that's well done. Among other DLC, they showed off two fancy ranch signs that we've all seen on Yellowstone. They're easily customizable, having lots of slots to place wall decorations to personalize for your Sims ranch aesthetic. There's also a new door that allows for your Sims to ride through on their horses. New kitchen counters, cabinets, and a sink and some clutter comes with the pack, although I will admit it's really nothing special. Of course, we can't forget about the adorable mini sheep and goats. Just like in Cottage Living, both the sheep and goats can produce milk and sheep can produce wool, and they can also help out in the garden. Now for some base game changes that will come with the update to host the pack. Along with the three new hairstyles, there is now going to be an option to paint the ceilings. This is going to make our build so much more immersive and cohesive, and I'm so excited for it. You ever wanted to go into free cam or tab mode in build and buy without having a mod? Well, now you can. This feature will also be added to base game and so will some new swatches of some DLC that we already have in the base game for floor tiles. Lastly, we're always hoping for more lore as a community, but for the most part, we're left starving by the Sims team. They didn't touch on it much, but there could be some lore behind Mr. Crumple, I mean, Crinkle Top. I guess we'll have to wait and see. What are your thoughts? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below because I would really like to know what you guys think about all this. Personally, I think the community is dead on when they say that the Sims team thought that they could release this as an EP just for the anticipation of horses. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button for more Sims videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!